Just driving here to uh, Beit Shemesh, the new IKEA outside Jerusalem, or the newish IKEA. And this road from Jerusalem passes through tons and tons of forestry. Under normal conditions, the forests are very green and verdant, but if you take a look around, you can see the devastation that has been wrought by these forest fires that were burning all over the Jerusalem hills uh, for the last week. Now, they were only officially declared extinguished, I believe, about a week ago. And even in the period since then, there's been talk of another fire outbreak. And what you can smell through YouTube is the smell, the strong smell of burning that is still actually in the air. In this area and it's a smell that unfortunately for those of us living in Jerusalem has become very familiar over recent months because it literally gets from here which is outside Jerusalem and in this forested area all the way into the city I made a video on this channel last week of those plumes of smoke billowing into the air and if you just look at there's a tree here this is just one of the burnt trees right behind me here and you can see that it's just like burnt as if you held it over a barbecue I'm just gonna take a tiny bit of the twig off and that smell, which again, you can't get, but it's just overpowering. And you can see that it's still burnt enough that it's rubbing sulfur off onto my hand, which has that smell. So under normal circumstances, this whole area is beautiful and green. And right now in parts here, it's burnt and in parts here, it's green. Um, and this is the forest outside Jerusalem. And these, these forest fires, I don't believe the cause has been determined yet, but we're seeing them all over Cyprus, Greece. Um, and Israel and uh, probably as global warming continues and other other factors you're going to be seeing more of these in the years to come